Well, have you ever had to beg and grovel to get warranty service on your computer from a major manufacturer? Well, sometimes they act like uh, you're asking for the world. In this week's Compute This, how to get what you need from those computer warranty people. Thor Schrock is here to explain. He owns Schrock Innovations, joins us every Monday, including Memorial Day. Right. Thanks for stopping hey, in good today. To see you. We never rest, guys. You know, right. we're, we're that's always obvious. working. Never stops. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny because when, when you have a problem with a computer that's under warranty, mm -hmm. you expect to be able to call and say, hey, this computer I bought isn't working and I need you to fix it for me. Doesn't work that way all the time. So that's what you're saying, right? Not all the so time. What are some of the problems that people have? Well, we had a, a gentleman recently who uh, had a computer. He returned to HP for warranty. He brought it into our shop. We uh, we tried to turn it on. It wouldn't turn on at all. It would just it would just sit there and power and nothing. Nothing would come on. Usually that's a bad video chip. The solder points have gone bad, and we know how to fix it. Mm -hmm. We can take the board out and fix it, but he has a warranty. So why screw with it when we can send it out to HP for warranty? So we tell them it's under warranty from HP, and we're happy to send it out for you. We don't charge for that service since you're under warranty with HP. We don't get paid by HP to do it, but, you know, we're not going to charge you money to fix something that's under warranty. Yeah. Uh, and he said, oh, no, yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. That's really kind of you. I'll take care of it. Not a big deal. So he takes his computer home, calls HP. HP sends him a box. He puts it in the box. He sends it back to HP. He waits three weeks to get wow. his computer back, which is pretty standard anymore. Yeah. He gets the computer back, and they say, we, we replaced the main board. It was bad. Um, and there was a, a note in there, a handwritten note that said, we couldn't find your hard drive, they period. They couldn't find it. Like, we couldn't find it. And I talked to Alex. I'm like, you know, when we were testing things, did we take his hard drive out? Alex is like, no, we didn't touch the hard drive because it wouldn't even post. It wouldn't come on. Alex is one of your what? people. He's one yeah. of my senior yeah. technicians. Yeah. So why, why couldn't they find the hard drive? They lost it. <laughs> and all of his data. They lost his hard yeah, drive. Yeah, so he comes into the shop and he's like, they lost my hard drive. Can you believe it? It's a $500 laptop and, you know, a replacement hard drive of the right. size and capacity he had was about 200 bucks and normally two hours of labor. Well, and it's $400 to fix it. It's the stuff that's uh. priceless that's on there that's gone now. Yeah, luckily he had a good backup. So mm -hmm. he was more concerned with the hard drive. So we cut him a break. We just charged him for the drive. We didn't oh. charge him any labor. Put it in. It so then we go to turn the computer on and it won't turn on. And, we're, and it's just beeping. We're like, seriously, it just came back from HP. Why is it beeping? Flip it over, check it out. There's no memory in the computer. So they lost two things. They lost the memory, the memory and didn't even know they lost it. Oh, my God. And the, on the hard yeah. drive. And so the, the difference between what would happen at Schrock in that mm -hmm. situation and what you would do with, well, if you had an HP that you were sending back right. is we would call HP and we would say, you know, let's save everybody some time and some money. Why don't you just ship us uh, the board and we'll put the board in here? or the hard drive, or the memory, whatever's bad. Mm -hmm. And HP is usually more than willing to ship the part. Most people, though, don't really want to mess around with trying to put it in themselves. To put it in, yeah. So we'll install it. That's no sweat. We put it in for the customer, and then you don't have to, one, wait three weeks to get we'll your computer ship it back. Off. Yeah. Secondly, when you get your computer back, as a rule of thumb, manufacturers always run the factory restore partition on the hard drive. So even if his hard drive was in the computer, they would have wiped it. So, I mean, those are the kind of things you avoid when you have Schrock well, handle that warranty work for and you. And I imagine those are things you don't expect will happen. You just think they're <laughs> going to fix whatever problem. Yeah, and it'll you come back and just be like about. before. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. What, if you what if you purchase the computer through you? Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, if you go through HP or buy it mm -hmm. at a big box store, mm -hmm. you got to send it in for warranty. Uh, talk about your warranties and, and well, sure. what you do in the event that there's a problem. Well, if you buy a laptop from Schrock, it's, it's going to be a, ba a major brand laptop like an HP or an Asus or a Dell or something along those lines. We don't like Toshiba's. We don't like Sony's. They're too difficult to fix, and it's like they grab whatever parts on the shelf that week to build a laptop from. There's no consistency in the part numbers mm. from model to model. So you can have two identical laptops with identical model numbers that require two different screens or two different main boards. It's really? ridiculous. Um, so we sell the ones that we know are, are relatively easy and reliable to yeah. fix. But then the, if you buy it from us, you still get that manufacturer's warranty, but we also stack it with a Schrock warranty. So if we can do anything, if you bring it into the service center with a bad hard drive, for example, we just replace the hard drive. We'll call HP or Dell or whoever, let them know what's going on. They'll get a hard drive coming to us, mm -hmm. but then we'll just use one from our inventory, replace the bad one, get our customer out the door that day. So the turnaround time, yeah. you're not waiting three weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. the same day next day instead of three weeks. And then when, when that hard drive comes in from Dell, we just replenish our inventory from it. All right, so what do our viewers need to know now if they're having issues with the warranty gotcha. and their PC? If you're having trouble with a, a major brand manufactured laptop or desktop, doesn't matter which, and you, you're thinking you're going to have to call the manufacturer, yes. don't do it on your own. I mean, honestly, there's two reasons. One, it's a pain in the rear to call the boys in Bangladesh and deal with all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, the second thing is, is Schrock will do it for free. We do not charge anything. It's not a bait and switch. The only, the only charge that you'll run up against is what will tell you when you drop off the laptop, 
or the desktop, they, they're going to wipe your hard drive. Mm -hmm. If you would like us to back up your hard drive for, for one hour of labor, we can back up the hard drive, and then when the computer comes back repaired, we can restore your data for you. Yeah. Um, that's the only potential charge there is. Otherwise, everything is free. So yeah. let us handle it for you. We want to be the point of contact for you when that warranty expires. That's why we do the warranty service for free. And you're saving the easier. stress. No kidding. Yeah, Shrockinnovations.com is the website if you'd like to learn more about what he's doing in our area. And three locations, too, which makes it even more convenient. So in Omaha, Village Point South, uh, also in Papillion at Highway 370, 72nd Street. And in Lincoln, too, also on Facebook. We always like to promote that because he's throwing specials up on Facebook, uh, good tips, helpful information that most of us can use there on Facebook, too. So, Thor, it's good to see you. Thanks, Thanks guys. for making an exception to come in on a holiday. Exception? <laughs> I work every holiday. There's no such thing yeah, as a holiday. Well, I never stop. I work on Easter owner. Sunday, I do a radio show. <laughs> Thank That's you right. for coming.